Hello, I'm Gibson Sisson, and this is People in Perspective. Today on, my show, on the show, I have my, my lovely mother, Elizabeth Sisson, a still photographer for television. So let's jump right into it. Uh, tell us about what schools you went to and how you got into photography. Uh, I got into photography because my father was in a newspaper. Uh, my family actually owned a newspaper, and my dad did the photography for a lot of it. And uh, it was just always kind of in my life, and he always had a camera, and I was always very interested in that. And um, it's all I've ever wanted to do. So then I went to college uh, in San Francisco at the Art Institute for a little while. And then I ended up at Columbia College here in Chicago. Nice. Um, what shows and movies have you worked on before? Um, well, I've been doing still photography for about five years. Uh, prior to that, I was a wedding photographer. Um, I have worked on many of the local t television shows. Uh, primarily, I work on Chicago Med, but I've also worked on Chicago PD. I have done uh, a television show called Crisis, a show called uh, The Shy, and uh, another one for Amazon called Electric Dreams and various movies. I do something called day playing a lot, where you just kind of go in for a day and cover and stuff like that. Um, what equipment do you use when you're at a, at a set? For me, I'm really kind of run and gun because I'm always trying to fit in with the, the motion cameras. Um, so I keep it very, very minimal. I started off using a Canon 5D Mark III uh, with various lenses, mostly like a, a 24 to 70 and a 70 to 200 with a big sound blimp and uh, it was very cumbersome and I couldn't fit into tight spaces really, really easily. So then I upgraded to the new, uh, more technologically advanced uh, silent cameras, which is a Sony AR1. And again, it's the same lenses, but the camera body is much smaller and it's uh, silent. Um, a lot of that is because it's video and you're doing screen grabs. Oh, it's very interesting. Um, what do you decide to take a picture of when you're on set? I am kind of left to my own devices. A lot of times I do know that I have to capture what the main camera is shooting. So usually if you are on a um, like say Chicago Med, for example, we are a three camera show. So we have A, B, and C camera. A and B camera are the main, and C is trying to get whatever. And I'm usually next to A, or in between A and B camera, trying to replicate as close as I can to what they are shooting. And I'm doing it at the same time, so I'm not going back and recreating. We're all kind of working in tandem at the same time, which makes for a very crowded set. What's it like on set? Uh, a lot of people. Um, you do need a lot of patience which you know, everyone's like, oh, that's so cool, it's so much fun, and it is, except there's a lot of um, repetition. So each, each um, crew, there's many crews, so there's like a lighting crew, there's a PA crew, there's a gaffers, and each person has to like take their time to set up like the lights, and um, so that takes a little time. And then once we get a part of a scene, we have to do what's called a turnaround. So you shoot the front, so like you and I would be like this, and someone would be shooting over your shoulder, but then because you can't shoot over my shoulder because he would see them, they flip it. So we do the exact same thing, but in reverse. And sometimes we do that up to four times if we're in a small room and we need to get all the way around the room. Uh, what's your favorite memory of being on set? <laughs> we uh, find ourselves in a lot of different locations, um, and I do a medical show. That's basically a lot of times what I do, and um, I, for some reason, really enjoy when we <laughs> have to do a lot of like special effects with blood and squirting and things like that, because it just is really unpredictable, <laughs> and so it makes a mess. And we do it quite often, but for some reason I get a thrill out of it. And another one of my favorite is when we go out in location. Um, because we're a medical show, we're in a hospital a lot. So when we go out on location, we're usually doing something big. Like I just recently was at um, the big quarry 
it, it took 30 minutes to get to the bottom of the quarry, and we were there all day, and it was cold, but we crashed a helicopter. How cool is that? We crashed a helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's your favorite show that you've worked on, or movie? Um, I would say Electric Dreams. That was on Amazon Prime, just because it was a sci-fi, and it was um, really, we did a lot of technologically advanced things just in the show itself. So we, they had to come up with, you know, futuristic uh, watches and things like that. So we, it was like really playing pretend, but we had to make it look really real. Not, and you know, some of it was CGI, but as we're there, we have to let the actors feel, believe it and things like that. So I thought that was a really challenging and interesting show to work on. Oh, uh, I've been down in your office before, and I've seen you editing. Um, I would I would like to know a little bit more about your process okay. with editing. Well, I'm shooting with two cameras on set, and they're both uh, synced, so the time and the numbers are the same uh, um, when you're keeping track. And I um, usually come home and download the cards to two different folders, and I use what's called Photo Mechanic. So it's a fast acting because all the networks and all the television shows really do want um, everything straight out of camera. So I don't, I edit in terms of I call the images for blinks and like if the actors, if I know be happy with the photograph, I don't, um, I don't include it. So I'll do an edit that takes about an hour. And, um, and I'll, you know, uh, download it to an external, another hard drive which the television network provides for me, and then I usually ship that off. Um, some networks also ask that you upload and that you shoot in JPEG and RAW. RAW is like the, the largest files you can have and they can min manipulate them on their end a little easier than with JPEG. All right, well, uh, thank you. It's been nice having you on the show. Um, this has been People in Perspective. I'm Gibson Sisson. See you next time.